First things first, if you haven't already seen the Phantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis teaser trailer, as well as the follow-up video for that trailer, check the description below for links to those videos, watch them, then return, and I'll talk about my thoughts here. So yeah, starting off with it, I am beyond excited. I wasn't expecting this at all, I was watching the Xbox games reveal specifically for Halo Infinite to see whether or not it had Sprint, and after a short bout of depression, I heard this sound. Right when that sound hit my ears, it went straight into my soul. Zero to 100 real quick, I got up out of bed and like Halo Infinite, sprinted my ass over to the computer and started rubbing my eyes, wondering if what I'm seeing on the screen is what I'm seeing. Am I dreaming? Is this real? Fantasy Star Online 3? But no, it couldn't be. I started crunching the mental math of my TI-84s. And sure enough, they're not going to release Fantasy Star Online 3 if they just released Fantasy Star Online 2. I hope. Oh, okay, good, good, good. It says Fantasy Star Online 2. Needless to say, I had a lot of questions. And luckily, there was a follow-up video very shortly after that teaser trailer. So now I take off the fanboy hat and put on the content creator hat. Let's get down to business. What's going on here? These graphics look incredible. Right there, that's already one major criticism of Fantasy Star Online 2 handled. Oh, and right here, here's another criticism handled. People didn't like that it was hub-based, now it's open field. Speaking of that, open field means that the world is going to be much larger, so there's a necessity to move quicker, to traverse the land. I've tried every class in PSO2, and some are way faster than others, so having some base movement abilities is a much welcome addition. Okay, on to character creation. This was already a major selling point of PSO2, and the fact that the graphics are higher fidelity means that those players that spend more time in the character creator than the actual game are probably never going to leave the character creator. That's pretty cool. Alright, fingers can move. Where have I seen this before? Character creation compatibility. Keywords here, compatible between both games. Choose whichever system you want. Phrases like these lead the viewer to believe that New Genesis and PSO2 are not the same entity. And later in the video, it semi-confirms this by saying sharing between universes. Character growth will not carry over, currency affecting the game economy will not carry over, AC and SG will carry over, and weapons units and mags can be used in New Genesis, however their functions will temporarily change. After hearing all that, the big question on our mind is, what will happen to the original PSO2? See, even the video knows this. And the answer? Well, we get to play in both universes. We get to take our character from Phantasy Star Online 2 and start fresh in New Genesis. Meanwhile, if we ever feel like hopping back in PSO2, we get the enhanced graphics that New Genesis brings with it. Which means that all the time I spent grinding in PSO2 is not for nothing. I can still play it. And the best part is, even despite the graphical upgrades, the game is still free. And it's not one of those games where it's pay to win. Nah, you can thrive in the endgame without paying a cent. I've done it. But I've also spent a lot of money on cosmetics, no doubt, so they're making their money somehow. But wait, wait, wait. I've heard all this before. It sounds all too familiar. Oh, this hit me like a nostalgia brick. This is... This is just like RuneScape 3! So get this, back in the day there was this browser-based MMO called RuneScape 2, and eventually there was a combat overhaul and a graphical overhaul to RuneScape 2, where it eventually became RuneScape 3. Sound familiar? Well that's because I've already lived through this anime arc. This Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis stuff? Been there, done that, and here's what I've learned. So way back in the day, January 4th, 2001 to be specific, RuneScape 2 launched, and this background gameplay is kinda what it looked like, and this was fine for over 10 years. Then the developers wanted to spice up the gameplay by changing up the combat system. Hello, my name's Modmark, and I'm the lead designer of RuneScape, and I'm here to tell you why the evolution of combat is the greatest thing ever to happen to the game that we know and love so well, RuneScape. Unfortunately, that's not how things panned out. As time would tell, players heavily disliked the evolution of combat, players left in droves, player satisfaction was at an all-time low, and the RuneScape devs needed an answer. 
Well, they found their salvation in a 2007 archived version of RuneScape that they later released as Old School RuneScape. And if you wanted to play it, you couldn't use your old RuneScape account, no. You had to start fresh. Can you tell how burned I still feel to this day about that? I mean, it's one of the reasons I got into Destiny 2 in the first place, because Old School RuneScape was still pretty cool, but it wasn't my old account. And now you're maybe starting to see the parallels I'm drawing to Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. They're doing this the right way, allowing you to keep your old progress from Fantasy Star Online 2. And the best part is... Your fingers can move. Wait. Oh, that's where I saw this from. Hey guys, Mod Chris L, Mod Hunter here for the last in the combat videos. Thanks for watching so far, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this is just uh, the start of things to come and we're gonna really blow the lid off this today. Yeah, so to start, uh, if you look at your character, you'll immediately see you've actually got fingers, which we never had. It sounds so simple, but they've just never been in the game. Usually when an MMO gets upgraded or expanded, the older version is left behind, which is a potential problem if players particularly like the gameplay of the old version, especially if the new version isn't as good as the old version. Allow me to take you through a quick timeline of how Fantasy Star Online 2 came to be in North America and where it's going in the future with New Genesis. So on July 4th, 2012, Fantasy Star Online 2 released in Japan only. And since then, there have been many episodes that have launched. Episodes are like expansions on the story. And on April 14th, 2020, that is eight years after the Japanese launch, we finally have Fantasy Star Online 2 in North America. Keep in mind though that these are completely separate servers. PSO2 in Japan and PSO2 in North America are not the same. PSO2 in North America started off at a different point than where Japan is now. Japan's on episode 6. North America is on episode 3. Your progress in North America does not matter in Japan and vice versa. However, on the Japanese side of things, we noticed that on August 19th, 2020, the PlayStation Vita was no longer supported. And hmm, put on the tinfoil hat here, but what might this enable if the developers no longer have to cater to the weakest system? Might that mean that there's room for a graphical overhaul. Hmm, all the pieces are falling into place. And then, the Xbox games reveal, we hear about New Genesis. And then we watch the trailer as you've seen on this video so far, that New Genesis and PSO2 Current will become a shared universe. So now this timeline splits yet again. Both servers will have their own split of PSO2 and New Genesis. And the best part is, your progress on PSO2 doesn't go down the drain. As of now in the video, you have the entire framework to understand where I'm coming from here. A game's value to me isn't determined by its graphical fidelity or cutting edge technology. For example, I mentioned Halo Infinite earlier in this video. All the modern Halos I dislike. I would much rather play Halo 2 and Halo 3. So I do. In the same way, I don't really like modern RuneScape, so I play old school. Modern Pokemon, that's Sword and Shield, I play that a little bit, it's a great game, but I end up playing Pokemon Emerald a lot more. The most modern version of Battlefield, it's alright, but I end up going back to play Battlefield 4 or Bad Company 2. Smash Bros? Smash Ultimate? Yeah, it's a large character list. However, I prefer the system of Smash Melee a lot better. Fallout 76, anyone? Uh, editor's note to add, like, a uh, cricket sound effect here. I like Fallout New Vegas a lot more. I could really go on all day. And this isn't the case with every game. Like, obviously I like Destiny 2 more than Destiny 1. Obviously I like Resident Evil 2 Remake more than the original Resident Evil 2. But the point I'm trying to make is that even if New Genesis completely flops, they have set the stage so that we can continue with Fantasy Star Online 2 if we choose so, and I've been enjoying it so much that there's a strong possibility I end up just continuing to play PSO2. Don't confuse anything I'm saying with me being like, oh no, I'm not excited for New Genesis. I am beyond excited. This is handled in one fell swoop. The main criticism people have whenever I bring up PSO2 in the first place, they always say, oh, but the graphics, or it's from 2012. <laughs> 
When has that ever stopped a game from being good? A game can be from the 1990s, and it's still a good game! Now they don't have an excuse, they gotta try it out. So, needless to say, a fire's been lit for me of motivation for content creation. Oh my goodness. I already liked PSO2, but now this is full force. I picked this up as sort of a side game while Destiny goes through its growing pains and gets itself together, but at this point, nah. I am going to fully immerse myself in this and learn to be a good PSO2 content creator, so I appreciate your patience while I make that transition, and I appreciate all the help you've given me. So thank you. Let me know in the comment section what you think of Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, and maybe what other Xbox games struck your fancy. I'd love to check them out. I stream live on twitch.tv slash kamicakes, frequently playing Destiny 2 or Fantasy Star Online 2, so stop by, check it out, drop a follow, all that jazz. You're appreciated, and I will see you in the next one.